Hi, I'm Phil Fimit, and this is iPhone facial tracking working in VC face. And in this video, I'll show you how to link your iPhone to VC face. If you want to learn more, please watch the rest of this video. I'm going to be showing you how you can get your facial tracking set up with VC face. So please stay tuned to this video. So let's get into how to connect your iPhone with Wide.io. And if you haven't used Wide.io before and you're not sure how to initially set it up, we're gonna be talking about it a little bit in this video. However, I do recommend checking out this video that's gonna be popping up somewhere around there. And that's gonna give you a complete walkthrough for the things that we're not talking about today. So you're gonna be hooking up your phone to your computer. And then on your phone, it, it might pop up with a new message that's saying, do you wanna trust this device? And you are gonna say, Yes. And then in iTunes, you're going to click on the little phone icon that you're going to see on the screen right now. And that's going to be bringing up your phone information. What you're going to do is you're going to go to file sharing. And here you should already have the Wide.io app installed. If you want to know where to find it, you can click on the link in the video description down below. What you're going to do here is you're going to add your model. And what you need to do is your facial tracked model, you need to change the name of it to default.vrm. It's very important that you rename the file name to default VRM. If you do not, it's not gonna work. And then you're gonna add that model and overwrite the model that's already there through iTunes. Now that you have the avatar loaded onto your iPhone, you can open up the exact same model in VC face. Open up settings, general settings, and you're gonna be scrolling down and you're gonna be going down to OSC receiver. Here, what you're gonna do is you first, you have to make sure that your iPhone and your computer are on the same network. And then you can click on the show IP button that you see on the screen right here. When you click on the show IP button, this is where you're gonna enter that IP information in wide IO. Also here is where you're going to copy down this port number. And then what you need to do is you need to just select the same settings that I have right here so that you can still use your webcam tracking in conjunction with your iPhone facial tracking for the best results. On your iPhone, you're gonna be opening wide IO and now you should see your model immediately tracked uh, how it is on the screen. What you need to do is go into the settings menu. If you don't have the hamburger menu that you see in this corner right here, what you're gonna to need to do is just click in that general area until it brings up this menu that you see on the screen. And then what you can do if you wanna be able to see the menu at all times is you can turn off the hide menu button that you see here. If you have your head movement on, if you go in the face tracking, you can actually turn the um, head movement tracking off because I find that to be too distracting. And then here is where you're gonna be choosing the send mo I motion IP address that we you can view in VC face. And then here is where you're gonna enter the port number. As you can see here, the facial tracking is all set up and ready to go. If you're having problems connecting, so as an example, if for uh, your model is tracking in Wide.io on your phone, but it's not translating into VC face, what you need to do is make sure that you check to see if you're on the same network, make sure you're sending it to the right IP address and the port numbers are the same and you have these same settings checked off. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you wanna learn more about VTubing, some videos should be popping up on the screen. If you wanna have a chat with me, I also stream on Twitch and you can find that link in the video description down below. Also, thank you very much to my supporters on Patreon. I couldn't do videos or other cool things that I wanna be able to do without your support. Thank you so much.